Good morning everyone. Giving thanks. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. One morning back in the late 1800s an orphanage with nearly 1000 orphans operated by George Muller had no food to eat. He called all the children and staff together and prayed to give thanks for the provision of food even though no food was visible on the table. A few moments later a baker knocked on the door. He told Mr. Muller that God had led him to bake bread that night before and give it to the orphanage. Later a milkman knocked on the door and said that his milk truck had broken down and he had wanted to give the milk to the orphanage. It took lots of faith for Muller to thank God even when situations were bad. We must have the attitude of thanksgiving for all things since these are directed to God the Father in the person of Jesus Christ. We are born into this world as ungrateful people. Romans 1.21 The Holy Spirit's work of transformation includes changing us to grateful people. In contrast to those in this world who are never content with God's provision, the true Christian is thankful for everything, even the smallest joys. Believers understand that we deserve nothing but the Lord's wrath, so we are thankful for all of our blessings. In other words, we surrender to the will of God, no matter how it hurts, only a spiritual person can do it. Our gratitude should take place at all times. We are not to do this once and forget it. As we receive each mercy, we are to give thanks for it. Hebrews 13.15 says, Therefore by him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. This is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. This is how we are to give thanks. We give thanks by everything that represents who and what Jesus is and did. Without Christ there is no genuine thanksgiving. Jesus intercedes for us, therefore we can give thanks. It was He who earned anything we have. God's design is that we thank Him when things go well and when things go wrong. A spirit-filled person neither complains nor is sore in his spirit. He is thankful and grateful for what God provides. Ask yourself, are you speaking only the bad that happens to you and forget the good? Do you complain and murmur for the things that you don't have? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for everything that is in our life. Mold us to become a person that is filled with gratitude for all that we have. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Have a blessed day.